So if you've been looking for a cool way to spice up your YouTube videos with effects just like this, and you are not the best at making titles like myself or have no idea how to use Apple Motion or Adobe After Effects, then this video is going to be just for you. Friends from over at FX Factory have been gracious enough to sponsor today's video. They didn't pay for it. However, they did give me access to their newest app called MoType 2, and this thing is phenomenal. So it allows you to create a lot of cool titles and effects on your videos that are all customizable. And there are hundreds of these things built in. I figured what we do is take a few moments to check them out, see how you can customize them. But let me just tell you right now, there's a lot of stuff in here, so we can't cover it all, but hopefully this will get you a good enough idea if this is something that's gonna benefit you on your videos. So before we jump into the Mo Type 2, I wanna show you the FX Factory desktop application first. I download this because it's a lot easier for me to go through and find the things that I want to find because you're going to start off with this featured section. It's going to tell you everything that's new. You can see that MoType 2 is one of the new ones. Also, what they currently recommend. And then you're going to have this catalog, which is really going to group and organize all the different applications in a great way. So adjustment layers is something that is fantastic. This is definitely something free I would take advantage of. And they have a ton of other free things and they all work very well. So I highly recommend at least downloading FX Factory and taking advantage of some of these free things. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and show you how this works. Now, I believe that MoType 2 works for Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, Adobe Premiere Pro, and Adobe After Effects. It probably works for some other editors out there too, but don't take my word for that. You might want to look that up just to make sure. But once you purchase it and get it installed, here's where it shows up. It's actually going to be under your titles section and it's going to be under Yano Box. And I hope I'm saying that correctly. But what you can do is come into this section and see every single one of these effects or titles, whatever you want to call them. There are hundreds of them. So I probably wouldn't recommend looking through exactly this way, but grab the MoType 2 starting point and just simply drag it onto your timeline. Here's where this gets super cool. So when you get this screen pulled up, you'll see that under here it says Presets edit text and a couple other things. So what I'm going to do is just simply hit presets and it's going to pull up all the presets in this nice little dialog box. So now I can actually go to search. So if I'm looking for a title, uh, maybe that's going to be in screen or credits or something like that. I can do that. I can actually scroll through and look here as well, which I think works a lot better than the other way, but you can also jump to different sections. So I'm just going to jump to paragraphs really quickly and take a look at that and be like, okay, cool. There's a lot of neat stuff here. But the particle section is one of my favorite sections in the entire thing. And this is the example that I want to use today. I'm actually going to use this Convergence 1 because it reminds me a little bit of my childhood in the early 90s. And, you know, who doesn't want to be a little bit nostalgic? So we're just going to click on that one and hit apply. And you'll see that our starting point has updated to the effect that we just chose. Now, here's where things get really interesting. So if we go over to our editing screen here, we can find our edit text. I'm just going to hit edit really quickly. And I'm just going to update all these to whatever I want to say. I'm just going to call this the 1990s. But you have a lot of controls here as far as positioning, the size of the text, bold, italic. You have all the different fonts and things. So a lot of customization you can do. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. And then let's go ahead and just preview this effect. So I thought that was pretty cool, but we can take it a little bit farther. So you can actually go into your character section and you can make the font size bigger. You can change the tracking around for the spacing of that if you want to go that way. We can go down to layout and start moving things around here as well. So we can move this line spacing if we want things to be a little bit farther apart. You can change to free and rectangle. You can shrink the fit. There's a lot of customization. So the point I'm trying to make here is you can customize all these crazy different effects that are already existing in here to your very liking. Like if you don't like the way that it's set up, just change it. So then we can go in and find things like motion timing. So if we want to make this more frames or less frames or how this is going to come together, we can do that. So there's a lot of playing around that you can actually do. But if you're like me and typically are pretty happy with the way an effect looks, you just want to change something like the particular uh, the font or what it actually says, you can do that as well. So one thing that's neat, let's just go ahead and grab a video clip really quickly just so we can stick it in here. So now you can see the titles actually work really well in two different ways. So they work well 
as a standalone against just a plain black screen or any other color screen that you want to use, or they work well as an overlay on top of a particular video clip. So you can change these to do different types of effects and things that are going to correlate well with your video. So one of the things that I would like to see is how creative I can actually get with these when I'm creating videos in the future. So these are just really cool ways that you can make really fancy titles and just cool effects for your videos because I don't know if you're anything like me, but I don't even know how to begin using motion to create things like this. So the fact that somebody really took the time to create all these interesting, intriguing, and very engaging titles is something that I find very beneficial. And I'm so happy that I have the ability to use these. So I can already tell I'm going to have a blast using these different titles and effects on my videos. I think they really add that extra little engaging element. I also like the fact that they are super fast and easy to use, which is very beneficial to me because I don't have a ton of time to commit to these things, nor do I have the knowledge of how to create these things on my own. Anything, I encourage you to go check out FX Factory, check out the MoType 2, see if you can get a free download and tr test it and try it out first before you decide if you want to purchase it. Definitely take advantage of the free resources that they have. Let me know in the comments section below if things like this would really help your editing workflow. But hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, be sure to create something new today.